There has not been nearly enough dog in my videos lately. Not nearly enough of the dog. This is Jake. So I'm actually about to take Jake to the vet because um, he's been losing a lot of weight lately and it's making us kind of nervous. He's about 10, maybe 11 years old. We don't know exactly how old because he was a rescue. But he's a little pity mix. Um, he's just not been eating very much lately. And it's starting to bother me because you can kind of feel his, feel his spine. You can kind of see his spine right there. I don't like it. I don't like it. But the vet wanted us to bring him in and get him weighed um, every month or so. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to take Jakey Boy here over to the vet. I know it's his favorite place. It's not his favorite place. He hates it. But, uh, yeah, so part of the reason, uh, this is kind of, I don't know why my camera won't let me flip around for some reason. Here, let's, let's lay like this. Let's see if I can get some Jakey in the shot. Um, another reason why I'm taking him to the vet today in my car, um, is because, and I haven't really made this announcement, but uh, Friday is the big day. Friday is when I'm supposed to take delivery of my Model 3. So uh, there will be a video about it on the main channel, probably like a random Thursday video. Mm, uh, maybe next week, I guess a week from this Thursday. Uh, so hopefully that'll do pretty well. But I'm just kind of giving you guys a little heads up. There will probably be... A lot of videos with the car <laughs> on this channel um, and I hope you guys want that I hope that um, you guys are interested in uh, well the reason why I want to I want to post a lot of videos about the car is not just for the car and for people who are interested in you know Tesla and the Model 3s and all that kind of stuff but also because I kind of want to document my journey <laughs> you know into electric cardom um, I mean, I kind of talked about this in the video where, uh, I guess, which one was it? A while back, anyway. I was talking about, oh, the EVs. I was talking about the EV revolution. I was saying this there, and it's true. I want to, um, I want to kind of document this, this journey that I'm going on. I want to examine the good and the bad. I'm sure there's a lot of compromises involved that, um, are not going to be that fun, um, there's certain things that you got to do, like putting in a charger in your garage, which I haven't done yet. And I want to just kind of document that here. And, um, and I hope you guys are along for the ride because it, it should be, it should make for some more interesting videos than me just sitting there. And also, I'll be honest, if I'm doing videos every day, like I've been doing lately, you run out of ideas pretty quickly. <laughs> I, I don't want to just do videos where I'm just laying there. Well, now I'm laying here, but just, uh, talking about random whatever's on my mind. So, uh, anyway, I'll probably have something with the car on Friday, hopefully. I will say I'm a little bit nervous because I've been seeing stories about, um, well, obviously there's been, anybody who's been following this channel for a while knows that this has been a long and very frustrating process. So I'm just assuming <laughs> that that frustration is going to continue. But I've been, I've been hearing stories about people who are, um, Especially here in Texas, again, we've got these laws here in Texas where you have to sell through a dealership, and Tesla doesn't do that. So um, the deal with Texas is you have to pay for the entire thing up front. And uh, so I mean, like I've 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 gotten a loan and I've sent them the loan. They've cashed the check for the loan, and I'm on the hook for this car already. Like I'm, I'm on the hook for this car at this point. Uh, payments start next month. But I've read stories about people who the same thing happened to them, but they wound up getting their deliveries delayed like two or three months, and they're making payments on this car, and they still haven't gotten it yet. And hopefully that's not what's going to happen here. Hopefully it'll be there Friday morning, and all will be well. But uh, yeah, with, with everything that's happened so far and all the frustration so far, I'm just, I'm just not going to count that chicken until it hatches. So, um, And I'm going to have to get some kind of car seat thing or carrier for the dogs when I get this new car. Um, I'll, I'll do something maybe tomorrow or the next day with my old car and just kind of show you what I've been driving for the last 13 years. And it's pretty wrecked, pretty trashed at this point. <laughs> I, I stopped giving a shit about how dirty it was a long time ago. And these guys have drooled the hell all over it. 
And so I never cared about that, but I'm going to probably care a bit with this brand new car that I'm spending ridiculous amounts of money on. Um, so yeah, I got to get some kind of car seat cover or something and figure that out. But anyway, uh, so that's coming out this week. I'm going to take him to the vet and, um, and yeah, I'll leave you with that for now, but hope you guys are doing well. Catch you later.